Welcome back to Pauley. We're in the second rotation. UCLA on uneven bars and Stanford on vault. And the score for Ani Willis a moment ago, 9-9, the best ball about the best uh, performance on bars thus far. Now Yvonne Tusek on bars. And you're looking at the defending bar champion from the NCAAs last year. And that's out of a field of very good bar performers. Nice variety of skills in this routine. Very nice. Now with the bars out so wide, teams are starting to look a little bit the same. Everybody's doing the same move, so it's nice when you see a little change of that. Very nice. I like all the skills in the routine, and the landing was great. Only tiny little bitty form deductions in there, but they're teeny. Really stuck the landing, though. I have to tell you, it's a good feeling when you stick your landing. It's, it's a pretty powerful moment. <laughs> One I would never know. <laughs> Caroline Fleur now for Kendall Beck, the last ball for Stanford, 9 7 2 5. Stanford had a slight lead after the first rotation. UCLA in the midst of uh, pretty good competition on bars here. So uh, it puts the onus here on Carolyn Fleur. She tied for first at the Pac-10s last year on this event and tied the school, all-time school record with a 9.975. Pretty good ball. Kristen Smith liked it. She seems to like it. A little hop on the landing. Difficult ball to land perfectly. It's a lot of practice, a lot of timing, and just a feel for it. You've got to hit that laid out position as you're going forward so you don't see the ground. You just have to know where it is. Good kinesthetic awareness. A little bit forward on it. Two six performance on bars, 995, highest score of the day in any discipline thus far. Now on to the track first nationally on I can read the future, Barry. Yeah, you're right. She's just set up a big, big score for Jamie Dancher if she hits, because Jamie is by far the best worker, bar worker in the competition right now, because her form surpasses everyone. And she's got the difficulty. Look how tight her legs are. The toe point, she's very, very strong. An excellent technique. Very well trained on this event. Not bad. You have to go up. You have to go up. I don't know where they'll go, but I just, it's, it was a better routine. Cleaner, tighter, and bigger. You can see what the crowd wants, but 10 may be a little bit high. I love the tight form. Look how she squeezes her knees together. Shelly Goldberg now, the last falter for Stanford. 9825 for Caroline Fleur a moment ago. She has very explosive power on this and a beautiful pike position. I mean, toes pointed, just like a diver off the high dive in that pike position. Very pretty. Nicely done. That's worth a 9.9. .9. So that's the maximum that it can score. But look how perfect she is in this position right there. Very nice. She could have opened up just a little sooner. She might have pulled off the stuck landing. Well, I hear the crowd reaction over there. What is it? Yeah, they did it. It was a 10. You know what? They almost had to. And I could I could pick it apart and tell you the couple little places you could have taken a tiny deduction, but it was that much better. All-American on the bars last year, Donnie Thompson. And there is a little discrepancy about that 10. On one side, they had it 995. On the other side, they had a 10. And that's what I think it should be. Yeah. One nine. judge gave her a 10, the other gave her a 995. Right. So, so it added. 9975. <laughs> that's what I would have done, because I can't quite justify the 10 when I could see the little tiny ears. She's got some big swing, too. There's a good landing. 
That's pretty good. She has beautiful technique on that event. Now, if you went up on the last one, what do you do here? Maybe go the same. It's hard to say. Her reverse hack is beautiful. Dismount is gorgeous. And that's a real stick. That was a definite real stick. So UCLA with a terrific bars set here. We're the, coming up to the third rotation. We'll have the score of Donnie Thompson when we come back to Polly after this. Welcome back. We are halfway to the finish line. After two rotations, UCLA with a strong performance on the uneven bars has taken the lead over Stanford. What a reminder that all season long, Fox Sports Net is your place to turn for all the latest news, highlights, and information on the NASCAR Winston Cup Series. Weeknights, it's totally NASCAR. Your exclusive all-access garage pass with 30 minutes of NASCAR news and highlights, plus the latest developments on what's gearing up for this week's race. Totally NASCAR, weeknights at 6, only on Fox Sports Net. The Fox Networks, your home for NASCAR all season. Second place with a 97.725 Stanford, and in first place with a So a we move now into the third rotation. As you look at the scores from rotation number two, strong, strong performance on bars. They'll drop off the 9.7 of Alaska. The other five totaling 49.525 considerably better than Stanford had done on the vault. So UCLA with a slight edge now. Now okay, we'll move on to rotation three UCLA. with Stanford in four exercise and UCLA on the balance beam. We go first to the balance beam. This is Donnie Thompson. Incidentally, Donnie's score on the uneven bars, which we didn't give you before we went away to last break, 9-9. Nine, nine. Boy, this is a gymnast any coach would like on their team. Consistent, just rock solid. It's nice during the last rotation at Nationals. Bruins had a very small margin going into the last event. The balance beam, Donnie led off with a career high 9 9, setting up an incredible rotation and then clinching the title at Georgia. This particular discipline, I think, a real make or break discipline in almost any competition. You just have to have incredible nerve and confidence and a willingness to, to be aggressive on an event that, that leaves no room for error. None. And it's very hard to fight the temptation to just try not to make mistakes. And that's not the right approach. You have to be aggressive and go after everything. to really appreciate how difficult this event is too. I, you and I have talked about this for years, but I don't think television really brings the difficulty. But it's up there. Yeah, that was strange. I don't know, did she hit the beam when she stepped back? It was hard to tell from this angle. She definitely stepped back. That's a deduction, but I can't tell if she actually went into the balance beam. Let's see if we can see. By the look on her face, I think she even fell back into the balance beam. That's too bad. Interesting dismount, swing through, going forward. Now look, she stepped back. Yep. Yeah. Banged into the beam. That actually saved.